Then we pray. Lord, for Jesus, like God, yeah. Let's have a seat. God bless you. And I want you to be very, very attentive. We are touching a very delicate nerve here tonight. And we are touching a very, very aggressive enemy. Very aggressive enemy. I like you to be very attentive. And listen very well. That's a dada. Amen. Amen. Luke chapter one. Luke. Orikeni. Let's look at verse seventy-four. I say, Kerry, Lini, Adoni. You say, what is our topic? Elements of Orikeni Akuriwa. It is called power against spirit wife and spirit husband. What is our topic again? If you want a shorter thing, you can say power against spiritual spouses. Agbara lati bori oko tabi aye orun. O pa o igin si fu ma rege ni won. Abi agbara lati bori igbeyawo buburu. Aha. I touch in a very delicate nerve now the kind of thing. Elegela o le nuba. Enemy does not want us to talk about. Iru nkan ti o ta ki fe ka soro ni. Look chapter 1. In rere look ori ke. Look at the wonderful verse 74 and verse 75. I kere ni ati ikanu. And I want all of us to confess it out loud are we ready look 174 75 let's go that he will grant unto us that we be delivered out of the hand of our enemies my serving without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life can you read that again out loud? Look at that verse very closely. It means that if a person is not delivered from the hand of the enemies, he will not be able to serve God without fear. Even the holiness message, you won't be able to follow it. The one for righteousness, he will not be able to. Because he is still under the care of his enemies. Close your eyes again. This night, my enemies shall cry. I will tell you, shuffle in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus, then we pray. But thank God for this wonderful promise. Who says we shall be delivered out of their hands? Then I saw chapter 49. One of my favorite scriptures. I saw 49. From 24. To 24. 26. I want us to confess it out loud. I saw 49. 24 to 26. 
we've all found it. Can we go on? Pray be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered. But thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee, and I will save thy children, and I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunk with their own blood, as with sweet wine, and all flesh shall know, and I the Lord am thy Savior, thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Wonderful scripture that one. He asks a question in verse 24. Said, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Meaning that some prey are already in the hands of the mighty. Or the lawful captive delivered. That is those who are under captivity because they have to be there they are legally supposed to be there they walk into the trap of the enemy with both eyes open but now those kind of people now that they are the one who cause their own problem they went and look for trouble and the trouble cut them but say, can, can those ones still be delivered there are some people the devil is holding he is legally holding them but well I was in my territory and you went and called yourself fire me fire but in fact you'll be checking him up that's what you call yourself so I have the right to be checking you up but you say if I so I have a right to be backing you up. Oh, let her. That is my thing. Oh, Shango Wangwa. Abi. Shango Wangwa. Shango is looking for him. Shango Wangwa. So, so I have a right to be looking for you. Oh, let her. That is my thing. I was sitting down, JJ. JJ, lo unjoko. So those ones are lawful captives. Iru a wengi be unde to turn him. The Bible says, "Thou shall not commit adultery." So if a person want to commit adultery now, and he caught HIV. It's a lawful captive. That's it. the sin is now in bondage. Why would you say don't abort? Abort it. And so the devil now is holding tight to the blood against the person. So it's now saying, can those ones too be set free? This Bible says yes. So even those lawful captives, once they repent and they pray, they shall be delivered. Amen. Amen. Listen very well. The two strongest drive in human life is number one the urge to remain alive two sexual drive those are the two strongest drives in the life of men now marriage is the only divine platform for sex the only divine platform for sex is what this is why the Bible has two descriptions for sex. If the Bible is talking about the right kind of sex within the context of marriage, it will say and Abraham knew his wife. Abraham that one is the right one when it is outside marriage and it is a wrong kind of sex you will say and a man laid with her so you know the two different things the one that is divine is a new his wife 
Therefore, any sex outside marriage opens you up for an invasion from the pit of hell. Opens you up from the pit of hell. It constructs a bad foundation for your marriage. You know, the, you know the womb has a gate. That gate is what people call virginity. Whoever is the first to break that gate is very, very important. Your blood on the organ of the man is a blood covenant these are very serious matters deeply spiritual but they must be explained you know this is mountain of fire we are different from other ministries it's like uh, the army Nigeria in the army now you have some soldiers all they do is carry madam's bag to market they are soldiers there are some soldiers to drive the vehicles. There are soldiers. There are some soldiers. All they need is to carry trumpets. Tumpet. There are soldiers. There are some soldiers. All they do is to so guard uh, this gate, that gate. To but to follow some people around. But when there is war, there are some soldiers they call combatant soldiers. <laughs> Those are the ones that are at the war front. Those ones. Are normally different from other soldiers. You see, MFM happens to belong to that combatant one. So that's why we're, sometimes we can be very strange here. But all the other churches too, they are soldiers. All of them are soldiers. soldiers. But the kind of ministry we have here is to fight at the war front. We may occasionally preach things that many people don't like. Like when we say, go and remove the queen of the coast attachment from your head. They say, ah, no, 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 I don't want to do hey, But somebody who has never seen queen of the coast before. And you are telling him that it's like Queen of the Ghost. They won't understand. Because he's not a warfare person. He doesn't know. But a fellow who has confronted her. knows how she dresses. I said this one is like that woman. Because he's not a combatant one. He won't understand. So we have ice cream soldiers. And we have ice cream soldiers. We have the combatant ones. So that's why I'm telling you these things. Deeply spiritual. The bottom of many of the warfare we are fighting now. Many of us here are firstborn. Most of the firstborns they are just to open the gate. They use them to open the gate. You know, when you are a pioneer, you are the first person to start something. It is you who will see the most troublesome wahala. That's why many firstborns are there. Are their junior brothers, junior sisters are prospering. They are not. Because they have used them to clear the gates. You follow what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So you must be very attentive. If a man goes to sleep with a prostitute, demons from the last seven men that she slept with will enter the man. Then all the spirit husbands that uh, 
are available. To ba won korun to si wa. Wo bi arasin de man. Yo ma yoro okunrin be le ni. Because is sleeping with their wives you see to repay and when yahu won lumba so if a woman sleeps with a loose man be here for opening come back bar or corner only she push it so it doesn't matter whether somebody is speaking in tongues so she put as a boy and you better pay the for text bible i won't go to be there he says he wants to marry a christian so he's in long welfare only god if that brother is sleeping with you the god only go i like only be a bamba also i submit to you that he is not born again if it or what or what we from a quick or that only come even if he can sing praise worship like canary don't you like you're going to call me see be a yawoko is not born again for that only so after that fornication then he agreed he will give himself a thorough birth you for that and he went to more fleet perfume all over the body you feel you know did you say that i said thou at war yeah war it's not born again for that only and if you have that kind of person what in you will be wait around because the way he's sampling that girl he's the way he has been sampling them so if a woman is a loose man demons from the last seven women that is left which will enter the woman and their spirit wives too will be harassing her for sleeping with their husbands amen amen then you know sex is is normally for physical elements like animals plants but why should spirit beings be interested in sex when the thing is for physical beings why the bible tells us really so far in ephesians chapter 5 verse 31 it's a cock on the knee of more Ephesians chapter 5, verse 31. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they two shall be one flesh. When two people engage in sex, spiritually they become one flesh. They become one flesh. Look at First Corinthians chapter six. Look at what it says from verse fifteen. First Corinthians chapter six. Corinthians verse fifteen. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of a harlot? God forbid. God forbid. It cannot even be had. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to a lot is one body? For two saith he shall be one flesh. Verse 18. Free fornication. Every sin that a man do it is without the body but he that committed fornication sinned against his own body that is his own enemy so if witches are already fighting you from your family you have problem with also wickedness now you now topple with fornication what you are doing is that you are helping to defeat yourself you are assisting your enemy to destroy you so the mystery behind sex two people having sex are joined together in one flesh 
there is a spiritual mystery behind sex your soul your spirit and your body they are now joined together to that fellow so the spirits know this very well sex is so powerful that it unites spirit and soul it unites them the only other thing that has this kind of power is blood covenant this is why some find it very difficult to break away from certain relationships you have become one flesh with that person the spirit this is why sleeping with many partners fragment your soul because marriage is a covenant binding two people together for life binding them together for life so wicked spirits now in an attempt to keep a person under bondage forever they try and have sex with them once they do that you are now joined together with that wicked spirit they now seek to marry the person off in the spirit and is the source of a great problem marine spirits witchcraft spirits familiar spirits are sometimes not really interested in marriage but in pollution pollution the life of the person that is why they now go to the person spiritually and they are committing immorality with the person they act like spiritual mosquitoes spreading satanic deposit from one person to the other we call them spiritual rapists that many of them in the environment amen it means that when a person is working and this we can spirits look at this person say, how can we make this one one of us how can we ensure that the soul of this one is sealed forever how can we pollute this life they introduce spiritual sex here beloved lies 90 percent of the problems about marriage that most sisters and bachelors have the bible says the spirit of man is the candle of the lord these powers are candle polluters it's important for us to pray that these spirits should release the candle of our lives to release the candle of our lives once they pollute that candle that thing will be polluted so you have what you call spirit wives you have what you call spirit husbands they are very very destructive they hate marriage with perfect hatred they hate marriage with perfect hatred perfect hatred and they are different categories some are physical some people can actually see them they will come in the form of a man some will actually 
they're not sleeping. And they feel that somebody is violating them. They're not sleeping. You no, know, something is happening to them. They're not sleeping. They know that by themselves they're getting excited. Like sexual excitement inside the body. The enemy is using this to destroy marriage. Some of them are conscious ones. Some are unconscious ones. The unconscious ones are more than the conscious ones. And it's those who have spirit wife and spirit husband and they don't know. And the reason the enemy hides from such people is because he knows that if you know you will completely deal with it so for such people they hide you don't know that the one disturbing you disturbing you we have what to call spiritual prostitutes I'm talking about categories of these spiritual husbands now so they are physical ones there are conscious ones there are unconscious ones there are spiritual prostitutes you just go about polluting people's lives we have those who are wandering spirits from A to B, from B to C. We have spiritual twins, like I said last time. Spiritual twin. And they can be spiritual or spirit husbands. Too. We have the wicked and violent ones. Wicked and violent ones. I've seen sisters who wake up in the morning with pains in their reproductive organs. Because of violent sex that they had in the dream. And they felt the pain to real life. I've seen men who woke up in the morning with very violent pain some of them can even smell the woman they were sleeping with in their dream when they woke up that they found themselves for the bed we have the masquerading ones use the face of somebody else use the face of somebody else they are there we have the family ones I want the to there are some families they have their own family spirit wife family spirit husband they married everybody we have the internal ones I want to know what are those are the most dangerous they wait for a person to sleep they come out and start on the person there are so many of them carrying out this evil assignment we have the hermaphrodite spirits they come with both organs male and female and they are causing confusion when this kind of thing is in place whether you know about it or you don't know about it they initiate people that is the evil function number one they initiate people through the sex the person becomes one flesh with them two they shake away one's version somebody is meant to prosper they shake it out there are some people anytime they have important interview or very serious things to do that night they, they will have sex in the dream and that's the end of that thing I've seen it happen to so many men three they drain off the power of God from a person's life drain off that power for they cost late marriage or no marriage at all if you are 
the marriage now takes place they will show the woman hell they will show the husband too hell and the way for them show that the woman has no child five misfortune Ajalu. six profitless hard work from this kind of spirits and seven marital confusion we're coming you find that this person is married but this, the husband will be beating the person up somebody is about to marry a week to the wedding the fiancé dies in a crash during the period of courtship there is a very big fight and both of them go their separate ways uh -huh. one day the woman will just hit the man for no reason and that's it and then she gets another person one hatred will just develop and is these people that are causing it the spirits that's why you find people uh, after after engagement there will be disagreement again during courtship some men will keep postponing the marriage next year when it's necessary next year next year again meanwhile the woman is getting old and the man is not serious this spirit wife and spirit husband some will agree to marry today tomorrow they call it off again beautiful ladies handsome men with everything they need then the enemy just stands in that how you do it so God's intention if we know alone, is that marriage between man and woman should be in the physical realm. But the devil by his wicked manipulation has put so many people under conscious and unconscious terrible bondage. By, by involving them most times without their active participation in spiritual marriage it's the bottom line of the problems so such people will be having sexual intercourse in the dream some will be having pregnancies and children in the dream this will block all avenues to a good marriage and all kinds of other problems will happen are you saying okay how can how does somebody acquire this kind of thing? There are several things that can cause it. Number one is the protection rights that our parents sometimes do for us. Without your knowledge, like maybe the person was having problems. You took him to a prophet or have an for prayer. So he just married the person to a higher spirit. So that, that spirit will protect the person from the one troubling the person before. It causes this kind of thing. Participating in all these there were traditional and cultural dances. Although spirits who love that kind of thing. Sexual perversion. Fornication, adultery, incest, masturbation, lesbianism, homosexuality, 
pornography which is now becoming so common in Nigeria abortion prostitution filthy sexual thoughts sexual flashback flirting seduction all those loss of the eyes oral sex anal sex he opened the door to spirit wife and spirit husband and the coming and start causing problems indecent dressing and some form of hair dressing and some form of, of, of adornment attract both men and spirits if you're a sister and you don't want to give up wearing your trousers don't worry that means the spirit husband will not leave the person in the room because as men are admiring your shape inside the trousers the spirit husband like it I want the person to remain like that so you can finish the person off. what are we going to do tonight because I want to stop here because we need time to pray the first thing is to repent identify the door by which it came and make it repentance and you have to be specific you see you have to mention the name of every man or woman that has slept with one by one and begin to confess your sin and ask for cleansing for each person you must try and pray that God should give you memory to remember them that's the first independence number two if you have their gifts or whatever in your hand return it or destroy it whether it's tv or radio or bed or wrist watches and you are no longer moving with such men throw it away or give it back to them don't use them because it will reinforce the powers of the spirit number three is to plead the redemptive power of the blood of Jesus one repent to reject their gifts Plead the redemptive power in the blood. For is to renounce the marriage. Renounce it. And there are so many scriptures you can use to renounce this kind of thing. Look at Matthew chapter 22. Matthew chapter 22. Matthew 22 from 29 Jesus answered and said unto them ye do err not knowing the scriptures nor the power of God listen to this for in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage but are as the angels of God yeah. so spirits are not supposed to marry that's the first point you have against them tell them that spirits are not supposed to marry so you don't have, don't have any right to come to my own life two 
Ikeji. I want that scripture you can use against them. In Leviticus chapter 19. Leviticus ori kokon dini ogun. Verse 19. Ese kokon dini ogun. Leviticus 19. Leviticus ori kokon dini ogun. 19. Ese kokon dini. He shall keep my status. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. That's not different. What we need is the first one. You should not allow your cattle to gender with diverse kind. The second thing you tell this spirit. The Bible says diverse kinds are not allowed to gender. You are a human being, you are a you are an angel or a spirit. No relationship between two of us. You see, this principle is also in Deuteronomy chapter 25, verse 4. The principle is also there. First Timothy five eighteen. The principle is also there. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Another scripture you can use. I say, no, 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 that's too little. It's the popular. First Corinthians five seventeen that Only if Corinthians if any man, man being in Christ be be is a new creature all things that pass away all things that become new you tell the creature that since I'm a new you tell the spirit of my spirit of that since I'm a new creature in Christ and I'm dead in Christ and I'm dead in Christ the Bible says if one partner dies in a marriage that marriage is now nullified I'm dead in Christ so whatever marriage I had with you before it's now broken according to Romans chapter 7 look at it from verse 1 Romans 7 from verse 1 to 4 Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how that the law have dominion over a man as long as he liveth. For the woman which has a husband is bound by the law to her husband, as long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loose from the law of her husband. You follow it? That's what the Bible says. Oh, the Bible Since you are now dead in Christ, that you could see no Christ by you, the marriage is rendered null and void. I will know what you do to Bante. And that scripture you can use against them. It's for Second Corinthians 11 3. Oh, you call it a KG, you recognize a keta. Second Corinthians 11 3. Call it a KG, you recognize a keta. But I fear. Lest by any means I serpent beguile him that true subtlety or let's read it from verse 2 sorry for I'm jealous over you with godly jealousy for I exposed you to one husband that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ you will tell the spirit that I am now married to Jesus. So, and he's jealous over me. No other must lay claim on my life. And, and you tell that you use that scripture. And that scripture you can use. The Deuteronomy 24, verse 1 to 4. Deuteronomy 24, verse 1 to 4. 
That one talks about issuing a certificate of divorce. So you issue a certificate of divorce against the spirit. Amen. I mean. Uh -huh. When you have done all this, then you go and sin no more. When you have made that make your mind up in the spirit but you won't go back to this kind of mess it is then whatever spirit inside can leave it is then you can pray that their deposit should depart from your life this is the battle we are here to fight this event this is why I say we are touching a very violent now the devil does not want us talking about this kind of thing it opens the eyes of people and you know where you direct your warfare. I was speaking to some people this morning. I said, when you pray to the right level, then you will know who you are. The day you know who you are, your breakthrough will come completely. Look at the book of Isaiah. Don't worry, don't worry. Chapter 1. The man was preaching hell and fire and brimstone. Chapter 2 he was, he was issuing fiery judgment. Chapter 3 he was talking tough. Four, he was breathing fire. Five, he was issuing acidic prophecies. But with all those things he was saying, he didn't know who he was. Until one day, he saw the Lord. When he saw the Lord, ah, he knew who he he said, I am undone. I am undone. He said, so this is me. Uh -huh. So I'm like this. Me that I call myself a prophet. He said, I'm a man of unclean lips. I live in the midst of people with unclean lips. God said, Okay, no problem. Open your mouth. God will drop his fire into his mouth. And since that time, the man began to see Jesus. He began to talk about Messiah. The prophecies from chapter 6 of Isaiah to the end is like, it's like you are reading the New Testament. That's why they call him evangelist of the Old Testament. Because in his book, you find the gospel of of the New Testament clearly preached. What happened to Isaiah? He saw himself. Rise up on your face. Many of us need to see ourselves. When you see yourself for who you really are, a breakthrough has started. <laughs> then you will know how to pray. You will know what to say. You will know what to tackle. God will have opened your eyes. And then you know, uh -huh. so this is where you people are hiding. And you can do sharp shooting. Spiritually, lay your hand on one hand on your belly button, one hand on your edge. Don't say anything now until I ask you to say something. Just lay it there and concentrate on Jesus. Keep your eyes closed because tonight, what? The enemy has thought will not be possible. All of a sudden, you find that the secret of the enemy shall be exposed. All of a sudden, you just find that the freedom that you cannot find in your spiritual life suddenly fall upon you. And all of a sudden, you just find that 
the chains of marital blockage will be completely torn to pieces all of a sudden you find that the satanic pregnancy that is in your womb you don't know will have jumped out all of a sudden you find that the powers that have been controlling your family and that was on your mother or father that is now affecting you so the power will just release you and run away all of a sudden you find that the covenant you have made with the fellow that broke your virginity will be broken and that block covenant shall be completely wiped out and then you will see the glory of God. The glory of God. Get yourself ready. Get yourself ready. You will open your mouth like fire and like thunder. You will say, Spirit of man. Oh, you go out and if a man you say spiritual wife release me by fire to reveal anybody in the name of Jesus you This is the time for breakthrough. This is the time for freedom. 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 Beloved, you have to open your mouth and really pray. This has stubborn sexual demons. And for many people, they have been there for years. Every spirit has been. Go, go, go. 
Lord, I divorce you by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. By the blood of Jesus. Let there be silence now. The deliverance is going on already. The satanic wedding rings have been removed. Divorce is going on in the spirit. Divorce is going on in the spirit. And everything they are planted in the womb in the, in the reproductive organs. I command them to come out of the place. Come out, 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 come You cannot stay there. You do anywhere. Aha. Whatever they are planted in your womb, you want to let it be seen only more. Push it out. 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 Yes. Yes, it's coming. It's coming. Yes. Push it out. 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 Push it Oh Lord, let your fire come upon this place. And as your fire is coming down, let every anti-marriage yoke begin to break. Break, 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 break,
Yes. I command you to break. Completely. Completely. Break. 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 That's right. You can't hide. Oh, no, for you for cannot hide. Oh, no, for Today is that day. Oh, no, 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 no. Where you must release God's people. Oh, God of fear, oh, no, no, no. I cast you out oh, no, no, no. of the head. Oh, no, no. I cast you out oh, no, no. of the breast. Oh, no, no. I cast you out oh, no, no. of the womb. Oh, no, no. I cast you out oh, no, no. of the lips. Oh, no, no. I cast you out oh, no, no. of the legs. Oh, no, no. I cast you out. 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 In the name of Jesus. of God are released down to this gathering with their flaming sword of fire fire. and they are cutting away every demonic linkage yes every link every evil link with your mother every evil link with any wish I cut you off 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 I cut you off. 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 In the name of Jesus. And that spirit in where that has been pushing your partner away from you. I burn it and cast it out. I burn it and cast it out. I burn it and cast it out. Yes. Beloved, many things are happening now. It is time for you now to possess your possession. Get yourself ready now. There is a release in the heavens. There is a release in the heavens. The partners are being released. The partners are being released. Aha. Aha. Aha, Ben. Aha, Ben. Aha, Ben. Aha, Ben.
Now say this out loud, beloved. Because I say release in the heavens now. Breakthroughs are being released in an unbelievable way. You will not pray like this. Every power working against my marriage. Fall down down. Why you increase the temple of your prayers? Say this loud and clear. So he lay low, rather. Every handy work of household witchcraft. So he lay low, rather. Every handy work of household witchcraft. Go for sure. What day did it in my marriage? No need to be a me. We want to destroy them by fire. After power, we can win. Are you ready? Because household witchcraft and has been responsible for so many hardships that many people are passing through in their marriages today. Every hard work of household witchcraft. Every hard work in my marriage. I desire you today. I love you. I love you. I love you.
In Jesus' name we pray. Put your finger on your navel. Cry aloud like this. That's it. Cut a tongue. Every family, spirit, husband, or spirit, wife. If family spirit husband or spirit wife is there, harassing the whole of that family. This is your I will be tormenting them. You want to cry aloud against After them. Every family spirit husband or spirit wife. Release me by fire! In the name of Jesus, command to release you. Command to release you. Command to release you. Aha! Command to release you. That is it. That is it. That is it. That is it! That is it! That is it! Open your mouth! 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 Command it to release you! Yes! Kashitipa! Nari baka posori ele boko shiri baka riba Zari baka posuti ele Zari baka pasiti posu ele Command to release you, command to release you. Family spirit husband. All you family spirit husband, spirit wives. I bind you and your past. So dear, your call, you are bearing your rope, you are done you. I bind you and your past. So you are done and you. Release your captain. 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 Now, 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 now. Aha. Aha. Oh yes. Let's wait for that. Let's wait for that. I get far away. Oh yes. Aha, Ben. You family spirit husband. He won't call. You family spirit wives. I stand against your power. I stand against your existence. Is anyone's life to lie? Now pack your load. Pack your load. Pack your load. Pack your load. Go, 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 Aha, bad you. You internal spirit husband, you walk all right, tell your right, you know what? You internal spirit wife, you walk your right, you know what? I bind you and your past. So build your back your load and go now. Back your load now. Back your load. Go, 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 Look at it, 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 Aha, go out now, tell me you part by fire, man, fish it up, you part by fire, you go up and you lose your captain, so what do you write? In the name of Jesus, 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 Aha, Ben, now, every covenant that be made with anyone who broke your virginity. Any 
evil come then out. And in my time will be keeping any evil come then out. My time will be that you made with the person that broke your cap uh, so virginity. That happened when you told time, but you right? or you broke the person's virginity. Uh, I started against all such covenants to now. I command you to be broken in Jesus' name. For this. Aha, then break now, father. You break now, father. You don't say anything, just keep quiet. Let's go, let us break now, father. Break now, 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 let every contrary spirit that has entered into anyone's life that keep up going, make a new topic by you, make a new one through that process, let's pass and show you come out by fire that what I mean, huh? now, by you, in the name of now, Jesus, on the day soon aha, that's the sense, that's the sense yeah Out now, that the you 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 come out now, that the you that's it, that's it, only that's it, that's it, only that's it, that's it, only 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 now, 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Aha, Ben. Are you tired? So to Are you tired? About If you are not tired, shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! Now say this loud and clear. Every staff of evil covenant. Madam, we be raised up against my life. I dash you to pieces now. Most of you see what about you? Every staff of evil covenant. Madam, we be raised up against my marriage. I dash you to pieces now. Most of you see what about you? In the name of Jesus, Oh yes, oh yes, Maribaka City Shidibo.